As an ophthalmologist, teacher and practitioner, I am frequently asked by my students, trainees and colleagues that how to make fortified drops for the resistant diseases. I tell them that uh, after I tell them how to prepare it and after a few days or weeks again I am asked about the same thing. So it's one of the most important uh, topic and we all should know how to prepare these from injectable forms. So first vancomycin, ceftazidam and cefazoline for topical use. They are needed 50 mg per ml or 5% dose. So if 500 mg injection put 10 ml distal water and if, if 1 gram injection put 20 ml distal water and it's ready for topical use. Use disposable syringes make these under sterile aseptic OT conditions and under laminar airflow hood and must mention date of preparation and date of expiry for all fortified drops 7 days expiry if stored in refrigerator and 4 days expiry at room temperature so you should know these as well and uh, it can be used one hourly or according to your prescribing doctor so the next uh, antibiotic that is needed is gentamicin or tobramycin now they comes in fortified preparation of 1.5 percent the routine preparation is 0.3 percent but if not available in your area you can make it easily take one injection of 80 milligram per 2 ml and put it in a commercially available solution of 0.3 percent gentamicin or tobramycin 5 ml and it will become fortified now the <clears throat> here you can see nepsin tobramycin and gentamicin injection now the next one is uh, imipenem it is used for a very resistant infection uh, its topical dose is one percent uh, so put 10 ml distal water to 500 milligram vial and then take one ml and dilute it further with four ml distal water to make it one percent or 10 milligram per ml solution ready for topical use so that was about the antibiotic fortified drops and now for antifungal fluconazole is antifungal that comes in injection 100 milligram per 50 ml or 2 milligram per ml which is which can also be used in the same concentration for topical use so just draw the solution from the injection with the syringe and put it in the empty bottle of for i use now M4 tericine B, it's also antifungal, a very potent one, comes in 50 mg oil. So put 10 ml distal water and make it 5 mg per ml. Then draw 3 ml 15 mg solution and add it to 7 ml artificial tears and topical 0.15% or 1.5 mg per deciliter solution is ready for topical use. So these were antifungals that can be used fortified the ready-made antifungal is neta mycin 5% but sometimes you encounter resistant strains so you have to make those amphotericin B or fluconazole so the next is chlorhexidine chlorhexidine 0.2% comes in mouthwashes like Clinica and Enzeclor it's very effective in acanthamoeba keratitis. The topical dose is 0.02%. So just take 1 ml of mouthwash and put it in 9 ml of artificial tears. And it's used for the ocular infection. So these were, these were the few most common fortified drops that are used in ophthalmology. And I hope now you will be able to make chlorhexidine, amphotericin B, fluconazole, ceftazidime, vancom, vancomycin, gentamicin, tobramycin 
with ease thank you very much